The defending world champion Yankees had been playing like anything but champions in the first half of the 78 season. Injuries took a heavy toll, and all-around inconsistent play had the Yankees struggling to stay above 500. On July 19th, 90 games into the season, New York was in fourth place, 14 games out of first, and frustrated. Meanwhile, the division-leading Boston Red Sox were on a roll, winning four out of six against New York, going 62-28 and 28 overall through mid-July to stand high above the rest of the pack. The Yankees had little hope. But the tide began turning, and in early September, the Yankees invaded Fenway for a four-game series, trailing the Sox by only four games. New York went on a rampage to sweep the series, outscoring Boston 42-9. When the regular season ended, the two teams were tied for the top, forcing the first playoff game in league championship series history. That's when Bucky Dent took center stage. All my biggest throws are team accomplishments. And uh, one was the summer of 78, uh, 14 and a half games back at the All-Star break, finally won that big playoff game in Boston. Uh, that really sticks out in my mind up in Fenway Park, a cool, crisp October afternoon. Bucky Dent hit the big three-run home run. And what I was trying to do is I was trying to get a pitch that I could drive someplace and hit the ball hard. And uh, the first pitch, uh, I fouled off my foot. And uh, as I got up and was walking back to the on-deck circle when the trainer came out to spray some of that stuff on my uh, foot trying to ease the pain, Mickey Rivers came over to me and said, uh, Hey, homie, he says, uh, you know, you're, you're hitting with a cracked bat. And so he said, here, take this one. He says, you're using the wrong bat. And uh, from that time on, I went back up, and uh, I think it was the next pitch that I hit the ball in, into the screen. Deep to left. Yasinski will not get it. Home run! A three-run home run for Bucky Jim. The Yankees now lead it by a score, three to two. When I round the third base, there was a, you could hear a pin drop in Fenway Park. There was a complete silence. And then when I touched home plate, you could hear, you could start to hear a little bit of applause from, from the New York people who were there. But I think that the, the Boston fans were stunned because, you know, you look at a number nine hitter and he's not supposed to hit a home run, but, but it happened. I think every kid dreams of hitting a big home run that, that's going to win a ball game. But at the time, all I knew when I rounded the bases with it is that it put us ahead.